dear aspirants uh, this video uh, will discuss cash withdrawal at POS terminals this video is a part of a series of videos uh, that will be titled as topic for the day videos which will be useful for uh, RRB and TPC, State Bank of India, IBPS and other uh, competitive examinations and it will actually um, traverse the topics of uh, Indian polity, geography, economy etc. And today's topic is cash withdrawal at POS terminals. Uh, please do watch the video till the end and if you found it useful please do like share and subscribe so cash withdrawal when uh, this word comes to your mind there are so many sources uh, basically traditional sources of cash withdrawal or bank branches next is check leaves check leaves issued by your bank and visiting ATM to withdraw money but in this video we are going to discuss another uh, facility or option provided to the customers to withdraw cash so basically the intention or objective behind RBS decision to permit uh, cash withdrawal at merchant POS terminals is to provide cash withdrawal facility at every nook and corner of India so the basic objective behind the decision is to provide cash withdrawal facility to the customers at every nook and corner of India. And here uh, the devices that are, that are used for withdrawing cash or POS. POS actually stands for point of sale devices. These are nothing but swiping machines which you will see at uh, most of the supermarkets and uh, most of the merchant stores. Uh, generally a uh, swiping of cards is done to pay the bills for purchasing goods and services to pay the bills of purchasing goods and services so when you purchase goods and services to pay the bill uh, generally we'll be using a swiping option which is actually known as point of sale but as per uh, circular of rbi you can use that pos terminals uh, for withdrawal of cash the next question that comes to your mind is whether uh, every POS terminal or every merchant can offer the service uh, obviously the answer is uh, no not all merchant outlets uh, having POS can um, provide the facility of cash withdrawal to the customers so when the answer is no then there will be certain selected POS merchant outlets selected POS merchant outlets and the selection is not done by RBI but it is done by respective banks if the POS device is of SBI then SBI will approve whether that POS device can be used for withdrawal of cash or not by the customers if the point of sale device is provided by BOB then BOB will decide whether that POS device shall be used for withdrawal of cash or not so not all the POS outlets are eligible for providing this service only selected POS merchant outlets are eligible the next important points generally POS terminals uses cards no so then the next question arises is what which cards are eligible for withdrawal of cash at POS terminals all debit cards all debit cards are eligible for withdrawal of cash at POS terminals and secondly uh, prepaid payment instrument cards issued by bank prepaid payment cards issued by banks are also eligible for withdrawal of money from POS terminals and uh, withdrawal util withdrawal by utilizing the UPI mode is also eligible for withdrawal of uh, cash from POS terminals and uh, electronic cards electronic cards issued to PMJDY Prime Minister Jandan Yojana account holders uh, generally to withdraw OD facilities are also eligible for withdrawal of cash from POS terminals so the eligible cards are debit cards all banks debit cards PPA prepaid payment instruments offered by banks and UPA mode of uh, withdrawal and then electronic cards uh, usually uh, meant for OD overdraft facility for PMJDY Prime Minister uh, Jandan Yojana account holders 
the most important point uh, with respect to cards eligible for POS transactions or credit cards are not eligible or a person cannot withdraw money by using uh, elig uh, credit cards at POS terminals are not eligible at uh, POS terminals for withdrawal of cash. This is a very very important point. Credit cards are not eligible for withdrawal of cash from POS terminals. And the next important point obviously that comes to your mind is uh, what are the limits of transactions at POS terminals. So uh, first is minimum limit. Minimum limit is rupees 100 and that too per transaction. You should at least withdraw 100 rupees per each transaction as a minimum limit. Then max maximum limit for transactions varies from uh, place to place. It is rupees uh, 2000 in urban and semi-urban areas. Generally in banking terminology they are known as uh, tier 3, tier 4 tier 5 and tier 6 centers are generally denoting semi-urban and urban regions so it is rupees 2000 is the maximum limit for tier 3 tier 4 tier 5 and tier 6 centers and the maximum limit in rural areas generally banking terminology uses tier 1 and tier 2 centers in tier 1 and tier 2 centers maximum limit of withdrawal at POS terminals is rupees 1000 and it is per card per day it's not per per card per day per card per, per card per day is thousand rupees in uh, tier one and tier two cities per card per day is rupees two thousand in tier three to tier six cities and this is a very important point a question can be asked from what are the maximum or minimum limits obviously next point that comes to your mind is generally banks do charge a certain percentage of the transaction amount as a fee or service charge for example while paying fees to SBI or IBPS examination uh, GST will be collected at the rate of 18% on your actual uh, fee payment similarly for providing this service of cash withdrawal at POS terminals banks will levy certain charges they have the right or the rule says that they can levy charges for offering such service but there is a condition precondition that charges cannot exceed one percent cannot exceed so it should not be more than one percent of the transaction amount so the transaction fee or any fee collected by the bank for offering the service cannot be more than one percent of transaction amount for example if a person has withdrawn rupees thousand then the maximum that can be collected from him is rupees 10 because it cannot exceed one percent it can be less than one percent or equal to one percent but cannot exceed one percent of the actual transaction amount the next important point you need to remember is uh, the question arises as uh, POS uh, terminals are generally available at merchant outlets uh, whether you need to purchase any goods or services to avail the cash withdrawal facility obviously the answer is no it is not mandatory to purchase goods or services from the merchant not mandatory to purchase any goods or services from the merchant to avail this cash withdrawal facility from POS. It is not mandatory. You can directly go to the POS terminal and ask the uh, merchant to get your cash withdrawn from your account by, util by using your card. You need not purchase any goods or services for availing the facility. And the next important point uh, that you need to know about this topic is the merchant has to definitely issue a receipt receipt should be issued stating withdrawal amount at POS terminal stating withdrawal amount so what amount has been withdrawn should be mentioned in the receipt suppose if you have purchased goods for thousand rupees and you want to withdraw 
additional cash cash of thousand rupees then the receipt should mention thousand rupees uh, for goods separately and thousand that is uh, uh, withdrawn as uh, cash separately and next point you need to know is a very important point basically grievances grievances arise whenever you are providing services grievances are nothing but complaints so whenever there arises a complaint with respect to cash withdrawal at the POS terminals firstly initially the complaint has to be lodged with the issuer of the card or card issuing company generally which is a bank generally cards are issued by bank so generally it is a bank or uh, in that case if somebody has issued the card as permitted by RBI then that agency has to be approached at first instance to uh, lodge your grievance or complaint so if you are not satisfied if you are not satisfied with the response of the uh, card issuer then you can approach banking ombudsman then you can approach banking ombudsman for resolving your dispute so grievances are firstly to be lodged uh, with the card issuer with respect to any uh, complaints or grievances arising out of uh, cash withdrawal from POS terminals if at all the response given by the card issuer is not satisfactory to the customer then he can proceed uh, to lodge the complaint with banking ombudsman under digital transactions last and very important point of course with respect to this topic is so generally for uh, providing any service approvals are necessary from rbi but in this case except one category of banks all the other categories of banks are not required to get any approval from rbi to uh, provide this facility of cash withdrawal at pos terminals and the only category which requires prior permission from rbi or local area banks local area banks are the only category of banks that require prior permission require prior approval or prior permission from rbi to provide the facility of cash withdrawal at pos terminals all the other banks for example private uh, sector commercial banks or public sector commercial banks uh, need not get prior approval from rbi to provide cash withdrawal facilities at their pos terminals so this ends the important and relevant uh, points for the examination point of view uh, now in the next uh, two slides we'll come to know what are the questions that might arise from this topic uh, first question is which of the following card cannot be used at pos terminals for cash withdrawal so as already uh, discussed uh, you know that uh, credit cards are not eligible for performing cash withdrawal transactions at pos terminals second question grievances related to cash withdrawals at pos terminal should be first lodged with as i specifically mentioned first the complaint has to be lodged with the uh, card issuing authority or card issuing agency so that is card issuing agency if you are not satisfied with the reply or with the solution provided by the card issuing authority or agency then you can proceed for lodging complaint with banking ombudsman next question probable question from the topic is which um, category of banks require prior approval from reserve bank of india to provide the facility of cash withdrawal from pos terminals as uh, just we have seen the point it is local area banks that require a prior permission from Reserve Bank of India to offer cash withdrawal facility at PWS terminals. All the other banks need not any uh, need not get any prior approval from RBI. They can provide the facility. What is the minimum cash limit that can be drawn uh, at PWS terminals? So minimum cash limit that can be withdrawn from PWS terminals is rupees hundred per transaction. The last question: uh, What is the maximum withdrawal limit per day? per card per day per card at pos terminal in tier 4 city as uh, we have seen from tier 3 to tier 6 cities the maximum limit per card per day is rupees 2000 whereas for tier 1 and the tier 2 cities is rupees 1000 so he here the answer is rupees 2000 per card per day as it is a tier 4 city and from tier 3 to tier 6 it is same 
it is 2000 per card per day uh, this completes uh, the topic i hope uh, the information provided was uh, useful and the uh, notes with respect to this topic and uh, the probable questions are provided in the form of a pdf that is available in description as a link you can download the pdf from that link uh, if you found the video uh, useful please do like share and subscribe thank you